Section one is about the Pythagorean theorem. Now I expect you to be familiar with this already, so I won't go into a lot of detail about it. Basically the a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and remember that c is always the hypotenuse, or opposite of the right angle, which also means that it's going to be the longest side. So if I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem first, first we want to recognize that our x is across from the right angle, making that our c, so we're looking at 20 squared plus 21 squared, is equal to x squared. So to solve this we'll just multiply everything out. 400 plus 441 should be the square root of 841 and x equals 21. For this one we want to recognize that the 20 is across from the right angle so when we set it up it'll be x squared plus 8 squared equals 20 squared or x squared is 400 minus 64, which we can write either as 4 times the square root of 21, or we can round to the nearest tenth, uh, depending on what the problem asks for. Usually the nearest tenth is, is okay. We also are given the converse of Pythagorean theorem in this chapter, and the converse is saying uh, if we're not sure it's a right triangle, so maybe we don't know if this right angle is here, uh, but if those three values follow the Pythagorean theorem, then it is a right triangle. So we have three lengths here. First we should recognize which side has to be C. C has to be the longest side, so that would be the 85, so we'll plug that in for C. The A and B don't really matter about the order, so we'll say 13 squared plus 84 squared. Working that out, we end up with 169 plus 70, 56, and with the 85, we get 72, 25. Now really we don't know this equals here yet, that's actually what we're looking for. We're seeing if these are equal. Adding these together we do get 7225, which is equal to what we got when we had 85 squared. And so we can draw the conclusion that yes, this has to be a right triangle because it fits the Pythagorean theorem. We also have in this section a Pythagorean triple, which is any three whole numbers um, that will fit into our equation here. So we're not getting decimals or fractions from these and they will always fit a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, uh, these are a few familiar ones. You might not always recognize them right away, but these are always going to work. And you can also take multiples of these. For example, with these, if I wanted to multiply everything by 2, then 6, 8, and 10 would also work. Or uh, maybe I'd multiply everything by 4, that would give me 12, 16, and 20, that would also be a Pythagorean triple. And we could do the same thing with any of these Pythagorean triples, multiply them by some multiple to get a new set of Pythagorean triples.